What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what the Simple Network Management Protocol is. So let's get into it. The Simple Network Management Protocol. This is a widely used protocol for monitoring and managing network devices. It provides a standardized framework for network admins to monitor the performance, detect faults, and configure network devices such as routers, switches, servers, and printers. And in this video, we're going to talk about the fundamentals of SNMP, its architecture, operations, security considerations, and just some other general information about how this protocol actually works exactly what is SNMP. So SNMP, this is an application layer protocol defined by the Internet Architecture Board for exchanging management information between network devices. It is a part of the Internet Protocol Suite as defined by the Internet Engineering Task Force. And SNMP allows network admins to manage network performance, find and solve network problems, and plan for network growth. All right, so let's talk about the SNMP architecture. So the SNMP architecture comprises three primary components. First component is managed devices, and these are network nodes that contain an SNMP agent and reside on a managed network. And examples include routers, switches, servers, workstations, printers, and other devices. Then you have the SNMP agents, and these are software modules that are running on managed devices that collect and store management information. And they respond to requests for information from the SNMP manager and can send alerts to the manager. And then we have the SNMP manager. This is a software application that queries agents, retrieves management information, and may set parameters on managed devices, and it provides a centralized interface for network management. Now, the interaction between these components occurs through a standardized set of operations and messages. All right, so let's talk about how SNMP works. So SNMP operates using a simple request response model. The SNMP manager sends requests to the agent and the agent responds with the requested information or performs the specified action. And the protocol uses five basic types of messages. You have what is called the get request, and this is sent by the manager to retrieve the value of a variable from the agent. Then you have what is called the get next request. And this is similar to the get request but it retrieves the next variable in the management information base. You have what is called the get bulk request, and this retrieves large blocks of data, and this was introduced in SNMP version 2. You have the set request, and this is sent by the manager to set the value of a variable in the agent. Then you have what is called the trap, this is an unsolicited message from the agent to the manager alerting about a significant event. And these operations, they enable comprehensive monitoring and management of network devices. All right, next, let's talk about the MIB or the management information base. So the MIB, this is a collection of information organized hierarchically, and they are accessed using a network management protocol like SNMP. And MIBs, they contain definitions and information about the properties of managed resources and the services they support. And each managed device contains an MIB that specifies the parameters the agent can report and control. And the structure of the MIB is defined using a subset of abstract syntax notation one or ASN.1 and the MIB hierarchy is described using object identifiers or OIDs which uniquely identify managed objects in the MIB. All right, next, let's talk about some security considerations. So SNMP has historically faced criticism for its lack of security, particularly with SNMP version 1 and SNMP version 2C. And the main security issues include the following. So there's a lack of encryption. So SNMP version 1 and version 2C, they transmit data in plain text, making it susceptible to eavesdropping. There's also weak authentication. So the community string in SNMP version 1 and version 2C, this serves as a password but offers minimal security. But SNMP version 3 addresses all of these concerns by implementing the following. So there's authentication. So it ensures that messages are from a legitimate source and have not been tampered with. It offers encryption. So it protects the privacy of SNMP messages and prevents unauthorized access. And then it also offers access control. So it manages permissions for different users, restricting access to sensitive information. 
All right, next, let's talk about some practical applications of SNMP. So SNMP is used in a variety of network management scenarios. The first is network performance monitoring. So SNMP is widely used for monitoring the performance of network devices. It can collect metrics such as bandwidth usage, latency, packet loss, and error rates. And by analyzing this data, network admins can identify performance bottlenecks and optimize network performance. It's also used with fault management. So SNMP allows for proactive fault management by sending trap messages when issues arise. So for example, if a router CPU usage exceeds a threshold, the SNMP agent can send a trap to the manager, prompting immediate investigation. And this helps in quickly identifying and resolving network problems. It can also be used for configuration management. So SNMP can be used to configure network devices remotely and admins, they can change device settings, update firmware, and apply configuration changes without physical access to the devices and this simplifies network management especially in large or distributed networks Another practical application is security management. So SNMP version 3's robust security features allows for secure monitoring and management of network devices. And admins, they can use SNMP to enforce security policies, monitor for unauthorized access, and ensure compliance with security standards. And then there's asset management. So SNMP can provide detailed information about network devices, including model numbers, firmware versions, and configuration details. And this information is is valuable for asset management, helping organizations keep track of their network inventory and plan for upgrades and replacements. All right, so let's talk about the future of SNMP. So as network management continues to evolve, SNMP remains a crucial protocol. However, new technologies and standards are emerging to address the limitations of SNMP and provide more advanced capabilities. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is network configuration protocol. So Netcon F, this is a newer protocol designed for network device configuration and management, and it provides more granular control and better support for modern network architecture architectures, making it a potential successor to SNMP for configuration tasks. Then you have what are called RESTful APIs. So many modern network devices support RESTful APIs for management and monitoring, and these APIs offer greater flexibility and integration with other systems, allowing for more sophisticated automation and orchestration. Then there's machine learning and AI. So machine learning and AI are transforming network management by providing advanced analytics and predictive capabilities and integrating SNMP data with machine learning algorithms. This can enhance network monitoring, fault detection, and performance optimization. And then there's enhanced security protocols. So as cybersecurity threats continue to evolve, there is a growing need for more secure management protocols. And future developments in network management will likely focus on enhancing security features including stronger encryption methods, improved authentication mechanisms, and comprehensive access control models to protect network management traffic. So to wrap all this up, the simple network management protocol, this remains an essential tool for network management, providing the capabilities needed to monitor, manage, and secure network devices effectively. Despite its historical security challenges, the introduction of SNMP version 3 has significantly enhanced its robustness, making it suitable for modern network environments. And by understanding the architecture, operation, and best practices for implementing SNMP, network admins can leverage its full potential to maintain optimal network performance, quick resolve issues and plan for future growth. And as the networking landscape continues to evolve, SNMP will likely remain a foundational protocol complemented by emerging technologies and advanced management frameworks. 